Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a spring 20 piece ish capsule wardrobe for mid-size body. I'm a UK size 14, I've got a round belly and one of the most requested things on Instagram that I'm getting at the moment is to put together a capsule wardrobe for spring, like must-haves, essentials, wearable outfit pieces, all of that. So this is what we've got today behind me in my wardrobe. I have put the 20 pieces ish. Is it 20, 21? It's around 20. I'm gonna run through what they are, why I've chosen them, and why I just think they're really good pieces to have in your wardrobe for spring feel-good outfits. Let's start with the blue mum jean. It's just such a staple. It literally goes with everything, and the kind of like lighter to mid blue mum jeans just work really well in spring. I mean, they work well all year round, but they work really well with like spring and adding a bit more like lightness to your wardrobe. Then we have an oversized t-shirt. I am an oversized t-shirt lover. This oversized t-shirt is one of my faves at the moment. I got it recently from ASOS and I'm obsessed. Um, but I love just oversized t-shirts in general. Some of them look awful on me, some of them look great. So I do feel like an oversized t-shirt is a little bit hit or miss for me. Next we have a trench coat, a specifically a short trench coat I think works really well in like spring uh, vibes as we're kind of like the weather's getting a little bit warmer but you still need like those extra layers um because it is thin so you can either wear it on its own or you can layer it with cardigans and knitwear and stuff just to add that more warm french coats in general i feel like are very very wearable they work they really kind of like have that structure but they're also very thin and flexible so i do feel like they go with so many different outfits and they feel very comfortable that's why i personally love wearing them but I do appreciate not everybody is a trench coat girly. My husband is not a trench coat guy. He thinks I look like an inspector in my trench coat and always, always has to call me Inspector Gadget every time I'm wearing it. He literally is like, there's the trench coat again. So we know not everybody's a trench coat lover. But any type of very wearable jacket is going to replace that trench coat in your wardrobe. So an example here is a quilted bomber jacket. Bomber jackets are really in at the moment. This one is absolutely beautiful. Even though it's a khaki green, it has a colour, guys. Wow, that's a lot of colour for my wardrobe. Well, I say that. I'm actually really getting into my colours lately. Um, but even though... It is a khaki green. A khaki feels like a neutral sometimes and it goes with everything. I am experimenting more with like colour and what colours work and what colours are really wearable. Then also wearing things like this that make me smile, that make me so happy and you can inject those pops of colour in your wardrobe as much as you like. Your wardrobe is yours, you do what you want with it. Then a pair of black leggings, I think just are such a staple. I don't know if I could have a wardrobe without a pair of black leggings in because they are just my like easy go-to. I reach for them, they go with everything. And then we've got a black top. Now with the tops, the basic tops, I feel like I just within my wardrobe need a mixture of lights and darks in different styles. So like a long sleeve, a short sleeve, maybe a vest. In this wardrobe, I've just stuck to my two most worn, which would be a long sleeve high neck and a short sleeve high neck. During the summer months, I would wear my vests probably more, my kind of like double layered vest tops. Blazer, one of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe and one of my most feel good pieces. I feel like a blazer, if you are just having a bad body day, you're like nothing suits me, this and that, I will just chuck a tight base on and put an oversized blazer on and I just feel on top of the moon. Like I love it for date nights, for casual outfits, for everything. For me, a brown blazer is particularly wearable just because I feel like the brown colour goes with uh, blacks, denims, mid denims, light denims, dark denims and uh, the neutral colours. So like the white linens, the off-white linens. The three shoes that I've chosen are a contrast pair of shoes, which are my Nike Dunks, which are, I feel like they, I love a contrast shoe. I know they're not specifically in fashion at the moment, Nike Dunks or that style of shoe, but for me, that doesn't matter. They just elevate so many basic outfits for me. I also love the fact that they are all wipeable fabric, which I know sounds boring, but is really important to someone like me who is very messy. I'm not like overly careful with my things all the time and I'm a mum of two and like life just gets messy. I have avocado squished on my shoes and clothes half the time. The other two pairs that I've got are the Adidas Sambas which do really just go with everything. I know that's, that's why they're so kind of in fashion and popular at the moment and the Birkenstock. Again mid-summer I probably have like a strappy sandal or something because that's really going to be um, becoming very wearable within that time uh, within that season but in the spring as the months are getting hotter this Birkenstock shoe I can't stop wearing it and it's not even really warm enough to be wearing it yet but I can't stop I love it wasn't sure if it was going to be for me I haven't stopped wearing them so I love them the piece that I love is a grey hoodie I love sweatshirts hoodies anything in this kind of like mall 
is it heather gray marl gray that very like basic this gray i always associate with like very comfy outfits very much loungewear but this color gray also really 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 works well in more elevated outfits i think I don't know what it is about the tone of the grey, I just think it works really really well with um, like joggery outfits but then also like more dressed up outfits with like in the winter time you can wear it with like those like double breasted long coats um, and they work really well with that or then a blazer, um, bomber jackets, everything like I just think they're great but they're so comfortable, they're so wearable but they also work it within the elevated outfits. I think I've just said that in three different ways, I think I've said the same thing in three slightly different ways there so I'm clearly trying to make the point that the hoodie works <laughs> in many different outfits. Next we have a cardigan. Now I love a layered over the shoulder piece so any type of knitwear especially like neutral ones grey or kind of like neutral uh, brownie tones I tend to reach for for my over the shoulder layering. Um, I actually love layering things over my shoulders. People always ask on my Instagram like why do you do that so much? Like is it something you're doing just for Instagram? Firstly I love the way it looks and it has been around for like forever that's kind of like putting the jumper over your shoulders. Um, but I love the way it looks, but also I find it really, um, basically my eczema on my arms overheats quite easily. So if I am layering up quite, like if I just kind of like layer up a whole outfit and go, the temperature has to be very specific for me to be able to layer in a specific way. Otherwise my eczema is going to flare and overheat. And um, so instead of me just carrying my jumper, I will put it over my shoulders because that way it kind of keeps me warm. Cause I tend to get co quite cold, like on my like neck and chilly on my shoulders, you know, when you get like the chilly shakes, but my arms don't cope as well with layering. So I tend to like layer on my shoulders until then maybe I get a bit chillier and then I will layer. So it sounds weird, but for me, I love it. I do actually wear it like that out and about and it works really well for me. Um, but I know people think it's quite funny. I don't know why I feel like maybe it's like a dad thing it's like kind of like being around forever but maybe for like the dad generation have like the over the shoulder where you tie it i love it but yes back to cardigans i am a cardigan lover i just feel like they work really really well on their own they are basically knitwear once you do up a cardigan it's basically a knitted jumper but they're much like more flattering on me than a lot of chunky knits and also i wear them in like five million ways because you can wear them like that i mean say five million ways there's really two ways to wear a cardigan <laughs> done up like that or you can undo it and wear it as like a over layer i love like a tight base outfit like a tight top tight jeans tight leggings and then like an oversized cardigan and um, as that type of like jackety oversized vibe i also think they work really really well in a range of outfits from slouchy like with joggers i think a joggers and a tight base top with a cardigan is well, chef's kiss but then also my date night outfits black jeans a cowl neck top with then an oversized cardigan the same oversized cardigan works within both those like extreme of outfits so i I'm a bit of a sucker for a cardigan and I think it's incredibly wearable within your wardrobe. Then we're moving on to linen trousers. I love linen for spring and summer and I just find that a lot of linen trousers, they come with very stretchy waistbands, very kind of like they're a flowy material in themselves and they often ha just have been for me very comfort go-to pieces within my wardrobe. So I love a linen trouser. Um, I often go for neutral linen or black. I mean, black is still classed as like neutral vibes, but they just go with everything. Like I said before, a basic white top, this type of style is pretty much my go-to. I wear it with everything. Next we have a neutral linen shirt. Shirts in general, I just love. And again, I've said the word wearable like 800 times, but they are just so wearable within my wardrobe. Um, I think they just, because they work so well, like a cardigan really, they work done up as their statement piece on its own, or they work really well, which is how the way that I would tend to wear them most would just be undone as like a thin layering piece. It basically replaces your like trench coats, your bomber jackets, your, all of that once the weather gets a bit hotter. That's my go-to, just an oversized linen shirt, a cotton shirt, anything like that. It's also really good for my skin, especially my eczema and my arms. If I opt for like a natural material, like 100% cotton or linen, like it just works perfectly. Another favorite of mine is a denim jacket. I love a boxy denim jacket. I just love a denim jacket in general. I feel like it elevates a lot of basic pieces. Next we have pleated trousers. I've come into 
the pleated trouser game lately and I am obsessed like I totally can see how it elevates an outfit but it's also so comfy if you get the right pair of pleated trousers the ones from Abercrombie are just so like viral for a reason they're just amazing they've got stretch at the back they're just really really comfortable the fit and cut of them is beautiful um then we have got a blue shirt I said I love shirts and there is two shirts within my capsule wardrobe because I just love them again you've got to go for whatever style suits you but I also really reach a lot for my pink shirts which is a proper pop of color to put in your wardrobe but they go with everything like again the whites the neutrals the denims all the spring vibes the pop of pink i just love it i love it love it love it for spring summer um but a blue striped shirt is very very wearable and um yeah i just find them really really comfortable and they go with so many things next we've got a skinny jean i know a skinny jean has been cancelled they're not in fashion anymore guys apparently but they are not cancelled out of my wardrobe and i've made that clear in so many of my instagram videos which people find quite funny but um i love them and they probably are still a piece that i reach for quite frequently within my wardrobe um I think they go really well with lots of different types of outfits. As long as I get the right skinny jean, a comfortable skinny jean, and a skinny jean that feels good and isn't restrictive, then I reach for them quite a lot and they just go with everything really. I have a knit jumper. Now knit jumpers are like my guilty pleasure. I don't know if I could decide between having a light or dark if I had to choose one. I have chosen a dark knit for this um, capsule wardrobe just because and I'm trying to get that range of lights and darks and because I had a light knit cardigan I've gone for a dark knit jumper just because you will get more wear and a more variation of outfits if you do mix up the darks and the lights within your wardrobe obviously that's only preferable to you like if you want to just go all dark tones within your wardrobe you do that if you want to go all light tones you do that your wearable wardrobe is going to be whatever you like whatever you reach for and you wear the most that's how you're going to make your wardrobe the most wearable is figuring out how that works for you then last but not least we have a black skirt. i actually think i added this in last minute so i'm not sure if this is taking the pieces from like 22 pieces up to 22 pieces or whatnot um don't shout at me if it's a bit over 20 pieces guys i was trying to get 20 but i just did struggle a little bit um yeah so a skirt. i just even though it might seem a bit more of like an accessory like out there piece for a capsule wardrobe for me it's very very wearable in everyday outfits but also it's pretty much the only thing that I reach not the only thing that's dramatic it's like so often the thing that I reach for for my date night outfits or my night out outfits especially this one which I love because it's just so stretchy and so comfortable and I have incorporated more skirts into my everyday outfits because they surprisingly enough go with um like oversized shirts and blazers and things like that the kind of like skirts and sambas and uh, you kind of like oversized t-shirts it all goes together really nicely wow the sun just went down and we got a do we gloomy lighting end this video um but that does actually bring the video to a close um i hope that that was helpful in some way i know it was a little bit of a different style of video for me but i really wanted this to just be actually informative and helpful when thinking about the type of things that you could put in your capsule wardrobe but like i say um take everything everything online with a pinch of salt everything you see with a pinch of salt this is your life you've got to do it your way this is your body you've got to dress it exactly how you want to dress it um i just hope to be as helpful as um i can be and share as much as i can because i do find it really helpful seeing inspo um from other people online so i hope to be that for anyone else that needs it or finds my stuff helpful and um, thank you guys so much for your continued support and love on all my videos over here and on over and over on Instagram. Um, I'm really, really grateful to be able to do this as my job. I still find that crazy. And I, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.